Mulan may be on the front cover, but we all know who the real star is. Hey everyone, welcome to 90s Nostalgia. Today, we'll be cutting down the top 10 Mushu moments in the popular Disney film, Mulan. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to stay up to date with our videos so you won't miss our countdowns. With that out of the way, let's get started. Number 10, Water Snake. In this scene, Mulan decides to bathe herself in the lake for hygienic reasons, but is immediately intruded by a swarm of men who join along as she's completely vulnerable and only one downward glance away from being discovered as a female. At this moment, it's Mushu to the rescue, as he does the unthinkable and bites his way between Mulan and the other guys. Oh, come on! Don't be such a Ouch! Something bit me! Ugh. What a nasty flavor. This scene becomes funnier when Mushu then starts to wash away his regret. Number 9, I Live. When Mushu was summoned by one of the Fa ancestors, his introduction to the movie was immediately met with a warm welcome. Hello! Pulling a direct Frankenstein reference, Mushu instantly shows that he's not your ordinary dragon, but I'm sure many of us don't mind that at all. Number 8, Down Bessie. We all love Mushu and his tiny structure, and Mulan points this out too. But it's in this scene that Mushu states he's actually intimidating and can't demonstrate his actual size, otherwise it'll be too much for everyone to handle. Including Mulan's quote unquote, cow. Your cow here would die fright. <laughs> Down, Bessie. We love seeing how comfortable Mushu is in the scene, but as far as being intimidating goes, we'll just take his word for it. Number 7, Mushu Alarm. Be honest, sometimes setting a regular alarm to wake up doesn't get the job done, since many of us tend to sleep through it more often than not. But I'm sure that wouldn't be the case if it were a tiny dragon greeting you with his big loving smile. All right, rise and shine, sleeping beauty. Come on, hop, hop, hop. May not be the most common method, but it definitely seems effective. Number six, serving as fire. When being outnumbered by Shan Yu's forces, the odds are stacked against Mulan and her allies. That's until Mulan tries to use the last rocket to defeat the avalanche of soldiers with an avalanche of snow. She doesn't have a way to fire the rocket though, and she has to think fast. But thankfully, she has Mushu. Mulan uses Mushu as a source of fire to light the rocket by squeezing him similarly to an empty bottle of toothpaste. Needless to say, it paid off. Number 5, Shadow Puppets. In an attempt to manipulate Shang into thinking Mulan was badmouthing him behind his back, Mushu creates a Mulan dummy and even mimics her voice to talk badly about Shang in plain sight. To have a strategy. Mulan? The man won't brush his teeth without a backup plan. What? Huh? I blame myself. I fell for those broad shoulders. Somehow his slip-ups didn't get picked up on, but it was enough to convince Shang overall. You have to admit he does a very convincing Mulan impression, albeit very inaccurate in terms of what she could actually say. Number 4, Your Worst Nightmare Shang Yu is after Mulan and Mushu goes to help by going towards the fireworks. Him and Cricket board a kite resembling a giant bat, which Mushu puts to good use. Citizens, I need firepower. <laughs> Who are you? Your worst nightmare. We have to appreciate Cricket's determination. We won't be seeing him in our nightmares, but at least he tried. Number 3, Stone Dragon Face Off Mushu tries to get Mulan back by sending the stone dragon to go fetch her, though he must be in deep sleep since he doesn't seem to hear Mushu at all. Mushu tries his best to summon the dragon firsthand, though none of its efforts pay off, eventually breaking the dragon to pieces, taking us straight to number 2. Number 2, Dragon Mask. Convinced that the stone dragon was summoned, the great ancestor asks it to go forth and find Mulan. However, as we just saw, the stone dragon is most definitely not awake. So what does Mushu do? He improvises. Uh, yes, I just woke up. I'm, I'm the great stone dragon. Good morning. I will go forth and fetch Mulan. Using the stone dragon's severed head, Mushu responds to the great ancestor and successfully hides the fact that he royally messed up. How he wasn't able to notice the tiny red body beneath the giant stone head is beyond us. Number 1. Fire Mushu. After asking for a miracle to get into the army, Mulan is greeted by a large mysterious silhouette in the flames, there to guide her, all while convincing her he's an intimidating figure. But we all know who's actually behind those flames. It's in this moment that Mushu introduces himself to Mulan, but not without having his dignity thrown out the window. Did you enjoy our list? What Mushu moments were your favorite? Please let us know in the comments below, and be sure to click on the bell icon if you'd like to see more lists like these. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you all next time.